hey welcome to claire's corner in today's video i'm going to be testing some overly either sponsored or like overly hyped products and um, so i've got kind of four products that i'm going to go through and just kind of test them non not sponsored or anything like that just test them and give my honest opinion on them whether they are kind of worth the hype or not so let's get straight to it Okay, so I don't know if anyone has seen this, but I had so many adverts, probably about like one or two months ago, around the best foundation brush ever. It's so like all these videos of people like trying it on and being like, oh, this is amazing. And I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it out for myself. So I haven't tried it yet. This is the first time I'm opening it. it comes in a little case. It's quite handy for traveling actually. And then that is what it looks like. So hopefully you might have seen a similar advert for it. Um, I got like loads and loads of Instagram adverts for this. And it's like people are like, oh, it's amazing. So as you can tell, I haven't yet put any foundation on. So as you can see, I'm just kind of dotting it around my face. Okay, so it is really, really nice and soft and it is spreading it really really well there's no kind of like brush lines so you can see there's no kind of brush lines i feel like i've lost half of the kind of foundation into the brush you can't you can't actually see it you can only see a tiny bit there but i don't know i just feel like if i had used either a beauty blender or a different brush I would have slightly better coverage because I've used this foundation a million times. I'm actually just going to put a little bit more on. And also it's like a double wear foundation so it should have slightly better coverage. So we'll see what it's like with kind of two layers I guess. Uh, although, see I don't like wearing this much foundation because then I just feel very very cakey. Yeah, so it does spread really nicely and just blend it in really nicely. It's just, I feel like I have to use more product than I might have if I use a different, either a different brush or a beauty blender. I also feel, maybe it's just me, I feel like I'm having to push it quite, like drag it quite hard. You know, I will say it has gone on quite nicely. Okay, so I do think it has gone on quite nicely. It has really, really helped apply the foundation really, really nicely. But I have used a lot more foundation to do that. So, I mean, it's nice and it's great that it comes in a case. It's really good for like traveling so you don't get it all dirty in your makeup bag or anything like that. So that's really good. It is, you know, it's fairly comfortable to hold. It feels really, really soft. But yeah, I, I do feel like I've had to use more product to get the same outcome. I probably, I will keep on using this actually though, because it is really, really nice, really easy and quick just to make sure it's all blended properly. Um, so I do like it. What's a little bit extra product? Probably not that much in the grand scheme of things. So I do like it. Probably not kind of the, oh my goodness, um, type adverts that I've seen, but it is, you know, it's a good brush, soft, nice i think it was only like 10 pounds or something so it's not like exactly like it was breaking the bank i would give it a go um especially if you travel a lot this i think has kind of sold it more for me i think just a little case with it and it is quite small and like compact you can just kind of yeah it's good for on the go and it does blend in quite nicely so now i'll just go and kind of pad my forehead and finish the rest of my face So I did actually also use it to blend my concealer in, um, which was quite nice, although, you know, it's not obviously ideal for this section in like the corner of your eye. It is a thumbs up. Um, it's really, really nice. Feels really good on the skin. Blends it really nice. You don't get those horrible like makeup brush lines. And of course, it's really good for traveling as well. So big thumbs up. However, you know, I think those adverts are slightly hyped. Um, Okay, so I have seen and still and continue to see like co constantly an advert for this product um, and also it's endorsed by so many kind of like influencers or whatever. 
so I thought I'd try it out for myself. So it is the Function of Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner. I've been testing these now for about three months. I started in September. So as you can see, like you don't actually use that much product. It will last you a long, long time because it's now, so it's been three months, I think. About two and a half, three months that I've been using this and I wash my hair one to two times a week. You get kind of some stickers so you can put, I haven't used them, but so you can personalise your bottles as you wish. And what you do, if you don't know what Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner is, it's basically custom made to your hair as it is and your kind of hair goals. So you can select, um, there's like a questionnaire that you fill out online when you order them and it's kind of, you know, is your hair kind of long or thick or thin, um, frizzy, curly, straight, you know, that type of thing. So you fill all of that out and then you also fill out what your hair goals are. So my goals, I wanted colour protection because obviously my hair is coloured. Look at these roots. I actually quite like the roots. I don't know, controversial maybe, let me know what you think. So I wanted colour protection, deep conditioning, fixed split ends, uh, lengthening, and shine. Now one of my main things is so lengthening. I haven't really spoken about it but earlier this year I had an operation and before that I had to take some medication which really really thinned my hair out. That's why like I can't like since my hair got really thin I just had really really short hair because it just looked <laughs> I, I it was kind of like the best it could look at the time and um, but obviously like my hair's <laughs> pretty thick now it's kind of like growing back but it's it just needs to grow now um so lengthening was one of the the key things that i wanted because i don't necessarily want short hair it's just kind of had to be the case for the, like last year so that was one thing now i don't actually think that this shampoo has helped my grow my hair grow any faster it's just grown at the same level it hasn't my hair's quite as slow to grow anyway but it hasn't like helped speed up the length, like the growing process. So the colour protection, I think, you know, I haven't had my hair coloured since August. And I so I think my colour is like held up really, really well. And um, so I will agree with that. Um, and it is in really good condition. So I think like the deep conditioning kind of split ends and shine, they kind of, it, to me, they come in kind of the whole of the condition of the hair. And to be honest, I do feel like my hair is in quite good condition. I used to have like quite like frizzy um, ends where, not necessarily it was split, but just where like you I've used heat products on it, so like my straighteners or, or whatever. I do feel like my hair is in good condition at the moment, better than it was before. You can also pick a fragrance as well. And I picked the peach fragrance and you can pick whether you want it like lightly scented, medium scented or like really strongly scented. And I'm not gonna lie. So I picked medium scent and let me just, yeah, I can't, I'm not really smelling it. So I think if I do, when I run out of these, I mean, these are take, like, taking me forever to use, which is really, really good. They cost about 30, 40 pounds for the both of them in this size and I mean I've been using them for two three months and I've got like I've used what a quarter just over a quarter so I would say it is good value I mean I'm not going to need to buy another set for like another six months or something but it is a subscription so it does automatically I think send you that after I need to actually check because I don't need any more at the moment so I might need to just double check that it's good because it's a good quality shampoo, you know, kind of over your kind of drugstore, you know, two for a fiver or whatever. So in that respect, it is good quality product. Um, and it does, my hair does feel really healthy and good by using it. The lengthening, I'm, I'm not seeing that. That's kind of the, like the one thing that I'm just not seeing. And also the scent, I think I'll go for a bit of a stronger scent next time. Just, I went for a medium scent and I can't really smell it. Maybe I just have bad sense of smell. I don't think I do, so anyway. So that was kind of, that's my experience with the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. It is very, very overly sponsored, however, and I don't know if it's like as amazing as everyone says. I know obviously they're sponsored, so they're kind of paid to say it, but I mean, essentially it's like 30 pounds, 30 or 40 pounds, for like, I don't know, 
six to eight months, I'd say, of use, depending how much you wash hair. If you wash hair every day, then it might not be as worthwhile. But if you only wash hair like once, once or twice a week, like I do, then I would give it a go just to kind of see if it helps the condition of your hair. But, you know, I thought I would test it as it's everywhere I look on Instagram ads, on YouTubers or influencers kind of sponsors and things like that. So I thought I would give it a go. I am impressed. It is a nice product um, and it does obviously last for ages. You don't need, you know, like a little goes a long way. So that's good because obviously then you have to buy it less. I guess my only kind of, it's not even a negative, but I'm like my only kind of point is that I asked for the lengthening aspect and I don't feel that I've had that. Okay, so moving on. So another hair thing, no flaky kind of head massager, head washer, whatever you want to call it. Now, I've seen adverts for this and basically it is, well, it's kind of does what it says. It's no flaky. It means that you will not have a flaky scalp. How lovely. <laughs> So this is um, a really, really nice topic to talk about. No, um, so I don't know like a lot about dandruff. I don't get dandruff that much, but sometimes I do get like, um, I don't wanna say like scabs, cause that's a bit gross. But like sometimes I do get like a chunk of, maybe it is a scab. I've been using this again for about the same amount of time as the shampoo and conditioner. I think I'm still using it because of how nice it feels. <laughs> Not necessarily because of the, um, results because I like I said I didn't necessarily have much dandruff before so what I would do is I'd do like two pumps and then do like the top half of my scalp and then like another two pumps and then do like the bottom half of my scalp and then kind of obviously just rinse it off and then with my conditioner I'd actually put my conditioner in with my hands and then I would just kind of like brush it backwards and um, just to brush the conditioner all the way through the hair it does feel really nice it's like a head massage so if even if you just want it for that and yeah, I have noticed, you know, a slight, I, like I don't have these kind of weird scabs that come every now and again, which is, is just gross. I don't really know why I'm sharing this, but anyway, I think if you did have a problem with dandruff, I do genuinely think that you would see results from this. It basically just exfoliates the scalp. So it gets rid of all the dead skin, which is essentially what dandruff is. So yeah, I would give it a go if you do have a problem with dandruff. Or if you just want like a nice head massage when you wash your hair, <laughs> because it does feel really good. So I actually think I paid about £15 for this. However, I've since told my mum about it and she bought one off Amazon for about £4. So you don't necessarily have to buy the no flaky brand, just buy a similar thing off Amazon for about a fiver. Okay, so for the final item, the final like overly sponsored thing that I am testing today, is basically right i have seen this everywhere every youtuber i watch every um like influencer i follow on instagram every kind of facebook ad or um instagram ad i have seen this it is the estrid razor okay so it is um if you haven't heard of it it's basically like a really ethically made razor um for women and I think it's like vegan, like cruelty free, vegan, all of that. Like the shampoo and conditioner, it's like a subscription type thing, but I think like you select. So when I went on, um, you kind of select how often you want new razor heads kind of sent out to you. So it's kind of like, do you shave every day? Do you shave every once a week or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and then they just send you them based on what you've selected. So there's a few different things you can also get with it. So it comes in a box like this. Now, this is the first time I'm opening it. I have had it for months. I've been waiting basically to have used the shampoo and conditioner a bit longer before I obviously filmed a video on it. So that's why everything's kind of just been sat in my cupboards for a while. <laughs> but we're getting to it now. Um, oh, that's quite cute. Nice body confidence in here. Um, always remember, your body is beautiful. It is the most incredible, amazing thing you'll ever own. And there isn't an, any other like it. You are one of a kind. That's really sweet. And it comes in this little bag. There's like so much going on. So it's got some um, care. So how to actually take care of your razor, which I just leave mine on the side of the bath. So I should probably care for it a bit more than that. 
and I'm hoping it's all pretty self-explanatory really so I'm just going to dig right in so also you can pick your colour so I went with I guess pink I went pink it's really been that long since I bought this um, and I think the razor itself was about $7.95 something like that um, and there's a few extra things you can buy with it the razor itself comes with a kind of wall holder so you can Why is it not staying? Five hours later. There we go. So it has got like a sticky, a sticky wall, um, wall or like mirror thing. So you can stick it to your shower wall or bath wall. Um, and then you get two razor heads with it. You could also buy a little travel, po travel pocket, travel case. That's it, a travel case to put it in nice and safe razor for traveling so that's really good um and i think and this was a, like an extra five pounds or something like that i can't quite remember and it also obviously gives you options to get like um shaving cream and stuff like that now normally <laughs> don't judge normally i will either use conditioner or um like just shower gel please don't judge me but I thought I would try out their shaving cream too. And I'm going to practice it on here. You're gonna see me. I'm not gonna shave my legs because I'm not gonna lie that I don't know how logistically I'm gonna do that. And I don't really wanna expose my legs on uh, YouTube just yet, especially because I think they're just so pale they would offend people. So I'm gonna do my arm. And I know you're probably thinking, what, you shave your arms? Um, I shave my arms probably like once or twice a year. My arm hair is not like, oh. If anyone remembers when I fell over, yeah, a little scar there. Um, but I don't know if you can see, like I don't have much hair on my arm, but the hair I do have is actually quite long because I haven't shaved them in ages. So I thought I would give it a go and um, we would experience this together because why not? What else am I going to do on my Sunday afternoon? Okay, so I have moved a bit further onto the floor. I have a bowl of warm water and a flannel. And I'm going to give this a go. Um, this is probably going to get very messy, which is why I've got a towel down. I think I'm just going to kind of do this arm and see the results. <laughs> and then we'll leave it at that and I'll do this one at another time because I think I'm just going to get a bit too flustered and stressed. So, I'm just gonna wet my arm. Why am I doing this? I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm doing this so you can really see first time use and thoughts on different products because why not? Just gonna, I'm not gonna use a lot because I don't think I need it. So, I am going to just wet this. And I guess we will give it a go. Well, it does feel extremely smooth. It is gliding like an absolute dream. And it's getting literally every hair it touches. So far, I am in Impressed. I'm really impressed with that. That is really good. Let me just wipe my arm down. So it is, I don't know like how well you can see, but it is really, really smooth and gentle. That. So I am really, really impressed. This just feels so smooth on the skin. And it is been that is the, such a close shave. I am very very impressed. And also it is like I think if you want, I think you get four razor heads like every three. I think I selected it every three months because I'm lazy and I don't shave my legs that often. Maybe like once or twice a week. So and they're only like five pounds like every three months or something. So really reasonable, very ethical. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm. Definitely gonna keep using this. This feels really, really nice. I like that it's got I've got the travel kit for it as well, and it just feels so soft. Yeah, so it's called Estrid. Um I will link 
I guess the websites for everything below. Um, so if you did want to check anything out, like I said, this is not a sponsored video at all. I'm just testing overly sponsored product and kind of giving my just my opinion as just an average Joe. I hope you enjoyed. I now need to tidy all of this up because it's a mess. <laughs> Love that for me. Got water everywhere. So I'm gonna go do that. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have, I can't even speak, and I hope you have enjoyed um, or found this useful. Let me know in the comments down below um, any thoughts on the products. And like I said, if you're liking the roots, I'm quite liking the roots. Um, let me know. I'll hopefully see you in my next video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe down below. And yeah, I will see you in my next video, which is going to be the start of the Christmas themed videos. So yeah, see you then.